chanting the holy name is the most important limb of our bhakti process shila prabhupad said 99% of our advancement is on the basis of the quantity and quality of our chanting and many times you can see in the purport shila prabhupad says chanting constantly always chanting incessantly chanting right these terms are used in the purports of shila prabhupad and whenever shila prabhupad has to mention the hare krishna maha mantra prabhupad will not just mention hare krishna maha mantra he will mention the incessant chanting of hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare because you never know it's possible that a person can read only one purport in his life it's possible that he may get a book he may read one purport and never read again he may not become a devotee but at least the benefit of reading that one purport where the whole hare krishna maha mantra is there is eternally attained by that living entity so or if let's say he reads one purport and somehow mysteriously that happens to be the day of his departure he will not be able to read any other book or any other purport in the future but at least reading the hare krishna maha mantra and pronouncing the hare krishna maha mantra completely gives eternal credit but today in our discussion we will see what we gain by chanting hari naam many times devotees complain i have no taste in chanting japa kirtan somehow we can manage because of the melody right because of the tune we can manage because there are other devotees also there kirtan we can also manage because there is kartal mridanga harmonium so all of that keeps us uh, interested and sometimes there is dancing jumping running <laughs> so all of that keeps us excited in kirtan but in japa that is real test because we are sitting alone of course we are chanting with devotees but it is an individual effort to chant our own rounds and at the same time we are sitting and chanting we are chanting with no melody we are just hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare it's not like a hare krishna hare krishna <laughs> like there is no melody and at the same time there are no instruments and it's not that you just do a 10 15 minute kirtan and then the class will begin or little kirtan at the end just before prasadam it's not like that japa is two hour serious business sitting down serious business not looking around but focusing so to get taste before ruchi is a stage called as nishtha we have to be fixed in chanting we must take one vow that i must chant as much as possible even when i am doing other services my tongue should be chanting we should not waste our time yes i may be serving prasadam uh, to vaishnavas but i don't have to speak right i don't have to chit chat only i have to ask will you take more or do you need little sabji or do you need little khichdi that's all i have to ask the devotee but remaining time i can keep chanting mahaprabhu says khaite shuite jatha tatha nam lo deshkal niyam nahi sarva siddhi ho in the last chapter of chaitanya charitamrita shri chaitanya mahaprabhu he explains that uthite bashite khaite shuite jatha tatha naam lo uthte baithte khate sote samay bhi naam lo this is mahaprabhu's words and desh kal niyam nahi sarva siddhi ho na desh ka niyam hai na samay ka niyam hai keval siddhi pradan hoti hai naam japne se by chanting the holy name there is only and only spiritual advancement that we will gain yes lust may be troubling anger may be troubling envy may be troubling material desires may be troubling aparad is troubling the desire to criticize is there we are finding faults no problem we don't have to act on it that's all let all these things come no problem we should not act if we act on any of these emotions oh then they remain alive they remain alive Mm, there is anger and we give in and we start shouting or oh, then that anger emotion remains alive we have to learn to starve anger starve greed starve lust and that happens only by chanting the holy name nirantara krishna naam jahara vadane sei vaishnava shreshtha bhaja tahara charane shri chaitanya mahaprabhu was asked who is a vaishnava and i request all of you to very attentively take note of the definition that shri chaitanya mahaprabhu gave mahaprabhu was asked who is a vaishnava not only mathe tilak kanthimala because having tilak in kanthimala yes it is very important it is most important 
the attire of a Vaishnava is very important. But what is the actual definition that Mahaprabhu gave? Mahaprabhu said, Nirantara Krishna Nam Jahara Bodhane, in whose mouth there is constant chanting of Krishna's name. Sei Vaishnava Sresht Bhajatahara Charane. He is the best among Vaishnavas, and our duty is to serve his lotus feet. <laughs> This is the definition of Vaishnava. And you can see the importance of chanting Harina found everywhere in Chaitanya Charitamrita. Everywhere. In the uplifting pastime of the prostitute. Very famous pastime. Again, all these pastimes, I'm just giving Sanket, which means I'm just hinting. I'm not narrating them. Because I hope that uh, most of us have heard these pastimes. If we haven't, then that can be the homework after the session to know what that pastime was. In the pastime of Namacharya Haridas Thakur uplifting the prostitute, the prostitute asks Sri Srila Haridas Thakur, how can somebody as fallen as me make an advancement? I am karani ho. I have sabi paap kiye, sabi aparad kiye. Kya mera bhi uddhar hoga? Is it possible that even I will be uplifted? Sometimes this question comes in even in our minds, right? When we think of so many mistakes that we have done before coming to Krishna consciousness, even after coming to Krishna consciousness, how many devotees we have hurt, how many times we have been very aggressive, unnecessarily angry, uddhatpana, bolnyat, astat, sarvancha jivanat astate, maja jivanat, maja ayushattarahe, Bhar bharu nahi. <laughs> I have been very, uh, uh, very arrogant in my speech, and I still continue to be. So, um, in this way, we have to analyze and see what mistakes we have made, and then we have this question: Can I also make advancement? Shila Haridas Thakur says, "Nirantara naam lo karatulasi sevan achirata pabe tumi Krishna racharan." That you have to do only two things. Constantly keep Krishna's name in your mouth and serve the Vaishnavas starting with Tulsi Devi. Tulasi Rasevan. By serving Tulsi Devi and by keeping the holy name constantly on the tongue, we will never be cheated. We will get Krishna's lotus feet. Srila Haridas Thakur has said this. Can his words ever go wrong, dear devotees? He who is chanting 300,000 names of Krishna, can his words ever go wrong? He is saying that for our benefit. Nirantara naam lo karatulasi sevan achirata pave tumi krishne racharan achirat chirkal ka artha in the future. But achirata means very quickly, right now, satyo, immediately. Achirata pave tumi krishne racharan. You will get Krishna's lotus feet if you constantly chant. <laughs> 